Hey guys, Kids Go here! Finally, I'm making longer videos! First of all, thank you so much for 100 subscribers here on YouTube. It's so crazy because I think that YouTube is one of the hardest platforms to grow on. So I just feel so thankful for this milestone. Thank you so much for supporting and I'm glad that you like the videos that I make. But since a lot of my subscribers only know me from my transitions and my cosplays, I wanna just make a video to introduce myself myself to you guys. This is inspired by the Billie Eilish same interview videos. They make the same videos every year and she answers the same questions. They change some of them. It just shows how much she changes over the years. Okay, let's start! Hi, my name is Crystal, also known as Kitskua. Today is May 11, 2023. 103,000 followers on Instagram. 559.2 thousand followers on TikTok, 108 thousand followers on Facebook, 28.1 thousand followers on Twitter, 101 thousand subscribers on YouTube. My most viewed video on YouTube is a short. It's my Your Cosplay Transition with 7.8 million views and it up till now, it's still one of my favorite transition videos. My most viral video on TikTok is my Anya Get Ready With Me video. So basically, I'm putting makeup on for my Anya cosplay. And it gained 16.8 million views. My eye Hoshino videos. Like, I enjoy doing the eyes, editing the eyes in with After Effects. My favorite cosplay from last year is probably Star Guardian Seraphine, because it's my first ever Riot sponsored costume. And I had the platform made also, and it's just really cool. Myrtle and Chares. <laughs> Last year, I visited Malaysia for the first time. That was my first time traveling outside the Philippines using my own money. Hard earned money. Yeah, it's crazy. It started last year also. It feels good and weird also whenever people come up to me and ask me if um, if I'm kids, I even got recognized in public in Malaysia. I, I can't wrap my head around it. Maybe no. I like what I'm doing right now and I've been doing this for years. I worked hard to get here. And yeah, I don't think I will thrive as a content creator if I'm anonymous. I don't usually go to cosplay conventions, but last year I started going to conventions more often. I went to this convention and I, I was vlogging when someone came up to me and asked me if I'm Kitskua. I was wearing a mask so he asked if I could take off the mask just to be sure. What happened just surprised me. <laughs> this also got a lot of views. I am now a full-time content creator and I met Lily last year. She's one of my inspirations and one of the reasons why I started content creation. When I started cosplaying and content creation, I just wanted to share my passions to people who have the same interests as me and I wanted to make people happy. But right now, the most important thing for me is my own happiness and my own peace of mind. I have two things. Meet Pokey and get invited to guest in a convention outside the Philippines. Yeah, I think I am. Well, I think I'm more successful now than last year. My anxiety. Yeah, my anxieties and insecurities. Hmm, if I were to give an advice to myself a year ago, that would be make wiser choices, girl. But I'm definitely happier now, so good job. I'm proud of you, kids. It's so crazy. I never imagined myself saying this, but in a few years, I want to be an aerialist, like performing aerial arts. What? <laughs> I know you'll do great because 
every year we've been improving and uh, i'm just excited to see what we will become last month i asked you guys to send questions for a q a video and i picked some of the questions there to answer in this video from sunny random i guess the simplest question to ask is what got you into cosplaying additionally what's your most favorite and or least favorite cosplay that you've done um what got me to cosplaying it's card captor sakura i was a big fan when i was a kid i also love it that she has different costumes every single episode and i, I wanted to be like that i want to wear costumes every day now i have a lot of costumes that i can wear whenever i want most favorite that i've done my classic gwen cosplay my least favorite would probably be itachi yeah i cosplayed itachi and it's not gender bend i tried to do a masculine makeup but uh, it did not work out for my very round face i'm not discouraged though i still wanna try cross-dressing something that i would want to explore in the future from euphoric despair I think you've mentioned being from or at least in the Philippines, so it, it'd be cool to hear about how cosplay culture and such is over there, like how your family and friends reacted to it and if it's as big as it is here. When I started cosplaying in 2014, of course it wasn't as big as it is now, uh, and people who watch anime, weebs, and cosplayers were seen as weird. At first, my friends at that time made fun of me for liking cosplay. But now, everyone loves anime and there are a lot of costumes accessible to people. There are ready-made costumes already. So, everyone is cosplaying and I am happy that it's more widely accepted now. Next is from Avis. Avis I don't know how to pronounce your name. How does Kits Unwind? Love Lutz. Thanks for pumping out these awesome content. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. How do I unwind? When I feel overwhelmed with work or just feeling close to burning out, I just spend time on my bed. Sometimes I sleep. Sometimes I just watch anime or watch shows on Netflix. Oh, and I also do pole dance and aerial arts. It's kind of like my workout and it helps me release the stress from work work and content creation from ricky jasal i'm not sure if this has been asked before but i will ask it now i'm a guy so i don't face this problem but for a lot of girls they might want to know how to stay safe in the cosplay community i am very positive that there are definitely creeps posing as photographers etc that would be a concern you gotta admit that some people in the community don't get social cues so i guess you just have to speak up and please do not be afraid to tell someone that you're uncomfortable. And if they don't respect your boundaries, please do ask for help from your friends. Do not be afraid to speak up, okay? From Paimon the Travel Buddy, what's your career before you got into cosplaying? I'm actually a licensed pharmacist. When was that snap of the moment in which it clicked to your head that you should pursue cosplaying? Actually, at first, I didn't really want to pursue cosplaying as a career because I didn't think it would be viable. It was more like content creation in general. At first, I wanted to be a full-time streamer and cosplaying was just a hobby. I know I can't keep talking for hours in front of an audience. Just before the pandemic, I stopped streaming. I went back to just cosplaying for fun until I gained a following and more patrons just came in and now now it's a full-time thing from George do you like who you are now yes I like who I am now I love who I am now keep up the great work stay happy and healthy you too thank you next from CBT Lee if you never got into cosplay gaming what do you think you would be doing instead today oh my god that's such a hard question hmm I will probably be depressed in my pharmacy job, I guess. <laughs> Matty D! 
What's the first character that gave you the drive to get started in cosplay? Card Captor Sakura, because again, I love that she has different costumes every single episode. And the last question is from Purple. All these terrible questions and no one's asking the real question. Pineapple on pizza? Yes, yes, definitely. I grew up eating only Hawaiian flavor pizza. When I was a kid, I thought that other flavors of pizza didn't exist here in the Philippines. Just Hawaiian. It's so embarrassing. My parents would always order Hawaiian pizza. Whenever I see pepperoni pizzas or other flavors of pizza in cartoons or movies, I'm like, I wish there are flavors like that here in the Philippines. Yeah. Yay, that is all of it. I don't know how I'm gonna close this video since I haven't done, you know, just sitting down and talking to a camera type of video. I hope you all enjoyed watching this and getting to know me somehow. I plan to post vlogs soon from my trips and the photo shoots. So stay tuned for that. I need your suggestions for video ideas. Like what kind of videos do you guys want to see from me? Do you want more gaming videos or more like vlogs? Do you guys want makeup tutorials? Even though I'm not really confident with my makeup skills. Yeah, just leave them in the comments below. Okay, I guess that's it. How do you close this video? If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!